Sedoni State Police near Hazleton believe those new images will help them solve the murder of a nine year old girl back in the 1960s. Investigators released those photos today. Newswatch 16's Jessica Albert is live from Public Square in downtown Wilkesbury with the details for us. Jess. John and Julie, those photos were generated using DNA from the man investigators say is the killer. That DNA was sent to a lab to determine things like his hair color and his eye color. State police believe that these photos will help them crack the case. In 2009, we interviewed the family of nine-year-old Maurice Chivarella. That was on the 45th anniversary of the girl's death. She's on my mind every day. And like things we do or somebody says something, it always reminds me of her. Maurice was last seen while she was walking to school on West 4th Street in Hazleton on the morning of March 18, 1964. Her body was found later that day in a strip mine area. She had been badly beaten, raped, and strangled. Newswatch 16 spoke with longtime Hazleton jeweler Jake Rippa, who remembers the murder. Her and I would have been the same age. Um, that particular point in time in the city of Hazleton, that was basically the end of innocence for a lot of children at that time. March 18, 1964, it was a Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Um, I would submit to you that 55 years ago today, Marie Chivarella lost her life walking to school. Now on the 55th anniversary of her death, state police near Hazleton are still looking for the little girl's killer. We haven't given up on this case. So I don't want the public to give up on this case. But now they have a new tool to help them. Last year, police submitted DNA from Maurice's killer to a lab that can generate what a person looks like using their DNA. The lab was able to generate three pictures of what the suspect could look like in his 20s, 40s, and 60s. The results are not 100% accurate, but they are able to determine the killer has green or hazel eyes and has brown or black hair. Well, I believe it's a, a tremendous break. Um, hopefully. <coughs> the facial features are, are something somebody can recognize. Um, again, it, it, it can be limited at times, but you know it may, it may help us. State police did say there is a possibility that the killer has passed away since the crime, but they still want to identify him. They say if you recognize the man in the photos to give them a call. Jessica Albert, Newswatch 16, reporting live from Public Square in downtown Wilkesbury. All right, Jessica.